Well, anyway, guys, I got a, a tarp gun over the whole tent here. Now, this one is uh, 12 by 16, and uh, so if we get any heavy snow or anything, we'll just slide off and go down along the sides. And uh, on this side here, now I got it over a little further, and uh, I'll fix it away a bit more. But it's a good place you want to throw a little bit of gear or something there. You want to worry about it snowing up, some trapping gear and stuff, I guess. And I just lift other old tarp there, and uh, so anyway, pretty soon I'm going to get a fire going, and uh, that there is what we call a bogey, a galvanized stove, and. Uh, that's a new one, so it'll probably smoke the first time using it. So I'm going to get a fire going here to once let it burn off a little bit. And uh, when it clears out, I'm going to put on uh, some uh, moose stew for supper. So uh, so anyway, stay tuned, and uh, we'll see how this turns out. I'm just going to go on down here now to uh, where the cabin is at, and uh, just show you what I got done up to now. Well, guys, as you could see, uh, since my last cabin update, uh, I never really done anything except for I got a couple of posts here, and. Uh, and I got a Martin box on each corner here, and uh, tomorrow when I pass it through here again, I'm going to uh, rebate these and uh, put a bit of lure to them, and uh, hopefully we'll get a Martin here right on the foundation, and uh, that'd be pretty cool. And uh, you can see here that uh, actually a fox was right up on top of the platform here, so so there's lots of fur around here. Hopefully we could uh, hook up a Martin here now before the winter's out. And uh, I got a trap took down here with me, and uh, I'm going to make a blind sit back in the trail there a little bit where the wolves and foxes come down through there and uh, I'm gonna have an aisle set there like uh, wired up in that and tomorrow when I pass this through I'll just finish it off there as a uh, because opens 12 o'clock tonight so so anyway uh, as regards to the cabin uh, I'm gonna wait till the spring uh, and uh, get materials in on snowmobile It'll be much easier and I'm just I'm just too busy at the moment so so later on in the spring, whatever snow's on, I'll shovel it off, you know, get those long sunny days and uh, I'll be lying tan off there and uh, I'll close her in. So so anyway, that's the plan there for now and uh, I still got a day, a couple days work around here. I'm going to clear this out a little bit and burn some of that old brush in it. But, uh, but really the main thing right now is uh, to get some traps set because uh, 12 o'clock at night I can start setting my Merton traps and uh, for the next two days I'm just going to tail everything I can. and. Uh, and I'll keep you informed as I as I go along, of course. Well, guys, uh, this tent, this one is uh, eight by ten, and my, my buddy owns this one. This is the Prospector tent, and uh, I'm not I'm not staying the night here. I just got a fire going, <clears throat> trying to dry her out here a little bit, and uh, I got the leg of a moose there, and I'm gonna junk the meat out of that, and uh, I'm uh, frying some salt pork there, and uh, I'm gonna make a pot of stew out of that for my supper, and. Uh, I'm going to have my supper and just relax here for a few hours and then uh, 12 o'clock at night I'm going to start uh, setting uh, martin traps. So uh, so anyway, uh, that's what I'm at here right now and uh, later on in the winter now when I'm checking traps I'm going to spend a scatter night here. Just going to cut all the meat off of this, uh, the leg of this moose here now. And uh, I'm make a nice pot of stew out of this one here. Yeah, well guys I got some uh, cabbage added to the moose meat and I find cabbage and uh, moose meat go uh, go well together very good uh, especially in stews and stuff and uh, right here I got some uh, turnip carrot and potato and I uh, I prepped that there last night and uh, I don't have near a garden of my own, but uh, I got those from a local farmer. Uh, whenever I could, you know, I always like to uh, support the local farmers. I think everyone should, you know, no matter where you're to, because uh, it's, uh, it's as fresh as you're going to get, and uh, at least you know where it's coming from, I guess. So so anyway, uh, I'm going to let the cabbage and moose cook a little while longer, and then I'm going to add the vegetables and uh, just uh, lie back here for a little bit, relax, and uh, have a good old feed once. So there you go. Anyway, guys, when, uh, when that all wood in the stove uh, it gets burning good, I tell you, that throws some heat. You never know, it's good to see a wolf <laughs> either around here or anything. Wolf, fox, lynx, marten. I think it's all around here, so. So, anyway, just waiting for my supper to cook there now, and, uh, and I'm going to eat that, and then I'm just going to lie around, lazy around for a couple of hours, two or three hours, and. Uh, I got about an hour or so drive to get out to the outside in, and uh, I'm going to start tailing uh, Martin traps 12 o'clock tonight, and 
each trap by tails, I'll be getting a little bit closer to Goose Bay all the time. So hopefully uh, by the time I finishes up uh, tomorrow evening, uh, I won't be too far from Goose Bay. Uh, last year I done the opposite. I started down the inside and started tailing out, and man, I was pretty tired uh, on the way on the drive back. So I won't be doing that no more. So anyway, it's much better. Just a little more relaxed. Well, guys, one thing, it's uh, nice and peaceful here. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just relaxing here now. And uh, uh, a while ago, we was out here, me and the father-in-law, and we actually set this tent up. But uh, what I was going to say was, uh, about a week or two before that, uh, he was out hunting with a buddy. He was on an island called the Raggots, goose hunting. And in the night time, a polar bear actually come through their tent like this. And uh, they got a hell of a fright, I tell you that. And uh, I think they got out, they were pretty lucky to get away so good as that they did. But anyway, I ain't not going to say too much about it, but I am going to put uh, a link in the description. So if anyone is interested or whatever, they could go and follow the link. And uh, there's an article in the paper about it. But uh, so anyway, uh, you know, you can never be too careful when you're out in the wilderness, that's for sure. So so anyway, guys, I'm just relaxing here now. And uh, soon be time to chow down. There's only myself here, so I think I'm going to... Uh, Put that pot down, let it cool off, and eat rid of the pot. <laughs> so I uh, won't be messing up too much stuff. Well, guys, I uh, I got over half again. I'll save the other, well, almost half there for uh, tomorrow for my dinner. Man, oh, man, that was fantastic. Well, it's 12.08 uh, <laughs> there now, and uh, I got my uh, first uh, martin trap set for the season. And uh, I'm just going to take my time till daylight, just... You know, just uh, mm -hmm. want to overdo it in the night time. And, uh, but uh, I am going to try to get as many as I could out now before uh, dark tomorrow. So so anyway, I just got to keep moving on, I guess. Mm -hmm. And uh, first of all, about it now, it's not a very nice day. We got a bit of flurries and that stuff coming down. So I hope it don't get any worse than this anyway. Guys, is uh, I think it's somewhere around like uh, two o'clock in the morning here now, and uh, just got another one uh, set. So, just taking my time. Well, guys, uh, it's seven twenty here right now, and uh, won't be much longer. And I won't have to use the the headlight. Uh, Starting brighten up here pretty good now, and uh, it was snowing and drifting all night, and now it's turning off to rain. So, uh, it's wet, miserable going, but uh, but anyway, just gonna keep punching at her, I guess. So. So anyway, I gotta move on to the next one. Well, guys, uh, took a little while to find this one, but uh, now I know why. Uh, looks like a black bear uh, beat the box up that was in the tree there, because I left all my boxes out last year. But uh, the trap is still good, so so I got one of my old type boxes. I'm gonna pop back here for now. So so anyway, I wanna take care of this and uh, keep moving on down the line. I guess setting as I go. Well, anyway, guys, uh, today is uh, November the second, and. Uh, out town martin traps again today and uh, just going along and uh, fixing up uh, some sets that I had here last year and uh, putting out a scatter new location so so this here is a new location here for me and uh, today I'm using uh, salt herring uh, I had all my buckets of turbot there together and I accidentally put that <laughs> bucket of salt herring there it was mixed in with them and uh, that's a bucket me and my buddy done there the summer it's supposed to be for personal use but but anyway, it's just too far to go back and get uh, the turbot now. So sorry about that, Randall, buddy. Uh, I guess we'll have to get more next year. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, guys, uh, I'm not sure how many I got sat so far today, but it's coming along pretty good there. I'll count them all up tonight. Now it needs a little boost of energy. I'm going to try this energy bar here now that the, the wife gave me. Coconut flavor is nice, I tell you. I can't wait to get a jolt of energy from it. So anyway, guys, I'm just gonna have a quick snack here now and uh, try to rehydrate here a little bit, and uh, I'm gonna keep on telling uh, traps so dark, probably. So, so anyway, I'll keep moving on, I guess. Well, guys, you're doing some work on the road here. It's slowing me down a little bit, but uh, that's all you could do. A couple years time, this will be all paved, so uh, be better than ever then. So, oh, there we go. I 
you move over to the side, I guess. <laughs> well, guys, uh, I'm extremely happy. Uh, this is day two here now in Merton season. And I got all my set suit except for one that I had last year because uh, they're working on the road in there. But I'm going to... I'm gonna set down on the way back and I also got a few extra sets out so uh, I'm way ahead of the game from last year but uh, the only downside is there's a lot more trappers in the area probably partly thanks to YouTube there a little bit I guess but but anyway you know I've been uh, more than satisfied to have all this done by Derek this evening but since I still got a bit of daylight uh, I'm gonna drive out I got a cat set location that I uh, preset uh, pre bait it before a season with some beaver and when I went there yesterday when I was tailing traps uh, all the beaver meat was gone but it was, since we had snow I, I, I'm hoping it was lynx but anyway I set the two traps there but there's no bait there so I got some beaver meat there I'm gonna bait up that set and I'm gonna check some water sits on the way home so uh, why don't you come along with me and see how it makes out talking a little fast I think uh, I'm hooked up a little bit <laughs> very good well, anyway guys uh, I tell you the truth, I didn't think I'd be out checking traps with the headlight on again tonight, but uh, but I'm just trying to lighten up the load a little bit for Monday, and uh, sure glad I did because uh, I got a nice little otter here, so I'm going to uh, take care of this one here now and just move on, and uh, I won't be at this much longer, all the same. Uh, I think it's around 7 o'clock right now, but uh, I'll rest good tomorrow. Uh, I don't sit or check traps on Sunday. Uh, uh, don't really bother me well, you know other people doing it or anything like that. I just don't bother with it uh, I'll rest up good tomorrow and get a bright and early start for Monday and uh, I'll take you along then Well anyway guys there he is there. I got him reset in that uh, uh, Trap holder there and uh, I mean I tell you once you got the trap holder there uh, It doesn't take real long to get reset. That's one thing I really like about them and uh, this is a great spot for one of those so So anyway, let's move on I guess well anyway guys, uh, on the way along I decided to uh, stop and uh, set a couple more uh, lynx traps. So I'm going to set two traps right here, I'm going to use some uh, uh, beaver for bait. Now i got a, got a nice bit of work here to block it off in that here yet, but uh, I guess I'm a little bit late before I get home, but uh, I'll have to blame it on the wife for giving me those uh, energy bars. <laughs> Man, it works really good, but anyway.